So on this ATM, we have the inside of the door. I've already removed all the in interior hardware. We have our mounting screws, and we're going to use these three mounting here. <coughs> when you're installing the lock, make sure the lock is in the, the or the ATM door is in the lock position. Um, to start off, we should put the USB connection into the lock body itself, and it'll snap right in. Then we're going to want to thread the cable through the lock body. And once you get the threading through the lock body, that cable will eventually go through the spindle of the ATM. And depending on the handing, if you may need to switch the bolt around, you can just take the cable and thread it through the other side. But for this handing, it's going to go uh, down. We then will take the cable and slide it through. Take our screws, and tighten them down. Not much of a lefty, but here we go. Now on this particular ATM there is a back cover that we will install, but I would recommend installing that last after you've tested everything. Next we'll install the keypad on the front of the door. When we're installing our keypad base, our cable will thread through the spindle of the keypad base but depending on the handle here, it may not provide us with enough clearance, depending on the make, and we may need to adjust the I button reader. So to adjust the reader, on the back of it, there are screws to remove. You can remove these screws, that'll allow you to pull this I button reader off, and there's actually a USB connection which plugs in, and you can move the, this, this reader to the top, or to the right or left side, depending on how you're looking at it. And to remove that, just pull the top off, and you can just see it's just a USB connection. And that'll allow you to orient that reader based upon where the handle is or the clearance that you need. We've installed the lock on the inside of the door, and we have now our cable coming through the spindle hole, we'll want to install the keypad base on the front of the door. So we have our keypad base. I'd go ahead recommending putting in one of the screws to secure it to the door at the top. Thread your cable, your USB cable, through the inside of the keypad base. And from there, you should be able to line up your mounting screw to the mounting hole in the door. Adjust as needed. And that should secure the keypad to the face of the door. Next, we want to connect the USB cable to the actual keypad itself. So there's a channel that you'll want to route the cable into for any excess. These doors are pretty thin, so you'll probably have a, a little bit of excess cable. Once you get the excess in, make sure that the cable, there's two tabs here that lock the cable into the actual connector. Make sure those tabs are facing you. That makes it easier to insert. 
insert the cable and tuck the rest of the cable excess into the base here. Next what we want to do is we have the keypad face. So there's a, a green section at the top of the keypad face which will fit over these connectors but underneath this tab right here. So when you insert it, make sure that the green section is entered underneath the tab as so. The keypad will then snap into place. We have the lock body installed, we have the keypad base, and we have the keypad itself installed. Next what we want to do is we want to insert our batteries and there are two tabs down here at the bottom. Pull those down and the positive is going to be on the right. Positive here. Next is our keypad chrome ring. Inside this ring you'll see some guides and those guides line up to the notches on the side of the keypad itself. So then go in and snap the ring on. Make sure the lock is working as we hear beeps and that should complete your installation of your A-Series with display lock.